Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today I'm sharing 11 eyeshadow palettes with you for Valentine's Day this year. If you are looking for some inspiration on some older palettes, some newer palettes, and everything in between for Valentine's Day this year, keep on watching. Before we get too far into the video, if you have not already, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. I upload videos twice a week, although lately it's been more like one with work. <laughs> and uh, it's totally free to subscribe. I would love to have you back again on the channel to talk all things makeup. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Now last year I also did a video talking about eyeshadow palettes for Valentine's Day. I will leave that linked in the cards if you're interested in seeing that one. Um, but there are no repeats in this video. So if you want even more options after this video, check that one out. We're going to start with a newer release. This is the Unearthly Cosmetics Dreamer palette. Um, and I did a full video on this. Any of these palettes I have videos on um, where I'm like having them more in action instead of just holding them up and showing you, I will leave linked in case you want to see some different looks and not just the palettes held up. But this is the epitome of what I want for Valentine's Day. Very much my look today. This is not the palette I'm wearing currently. But I, I just like a really smoky Valentine. So this has kind of like these deeper blues or grays if you want. You can go more of just like the pinky route. There is a multi-chrome, this fantasy, or sorry, not a multi-chrome, a hollow chrome. I misspoke there. Um, and the shimmers are on another level in this one. If you've tried Unearthly Cosmetics before, this one is the sparkliest palette that I own from that brand. None of the palettes in this video, by the way, are ranked. These are just 11 random palettes in no particular order that I would recommend if you're looking for something this year. Next up from Jaclyn Cosmetics is the Strawberry Feels palette. Um, this one you might want to get it soon if you haven't yet or if you're interested because this brand is in fact closing but it is the classic pink white and red there's a couple neutral shimmers in there too just for transitional purposes but the formula is really nice on this it only has two shimmers it's mostly matte so if you're someone that likes more mattes than shimmers the matte formula is really nice on that and the white is pretty pigmented i've definitely had some whites where i put it on and i go where did it go where is it they, they just dust away into nothing not this pigmented white matte. Next up is the eyeshadow palette I am wearing today. I used the Ace Beauté Aura palette. This one is still available on their website, but I believe it is limited edition. So if you're interested, maybe check it out before it's gone. Here's what the outside looks like. Um, and I did kind of like a purpley, burgundy, pink-ish kind of look here. Now if you look at it you might not think Valentine's Day but I think if you take out the like mustardy gold and you look at the rest of it then you can see what I'm talking about. So I used Soul in the transition today. I deepened up the outer corner with Chi. I have Gleam as the shimmer over the lid with some glitter primer. I put Wistful on the lower lash line. Um, and a bit of halo on the bottom like inner portion for a shimmer and then I use sultry as a shadow liner I love how this one turned out it's it's just mm, I don't know and with a darker lip too I'll leave it in the description but this is uh, a weird combo I was wearing the kaleidos lip clay and agave earlier today which is a blue one it's a uh, a lip that is part of my deck of panning project that I'm working on and I was like mm, blue doesn't go with these eyes let me put on a mahogany brown and it just made it kind of like almost black <laughs> but I kind of like it. it it gives the the smoky like pink eye even a little more smokiness at least in my opinion so yeah too smoky valentine I feel like that's fun right not just the stereotypical pink and red I pull in a lot of purple personally for my Valentine's looks as well. Next up from Menagerie Cosmetics is the Flight Club palette. I said that weird. Flight Club. Look at this cute fruit bat. I love bats. Like, no, I don't want one in my house or anything, but I just think they're so cute to look at. Here is the palette. It does have a few neutrals, but lots of pinks, lots of purples. The shimmers are really, really smooth and reflective from Menagerie. Um, the mattes are really nice as blushes too. Some of these pinks I really enjoy. And 
all of the shadows in their palettes are magnetic. So if you want to take them out and create your own color stories or rearrange them, just get yourself one of these little tools. I got mine from Glaminatrix. Um, but you can move them all around. But this is just a, a really nice purpley pink palette that is, it's not muted, I want to say that, but it's not like fluorescent, I guess I want to say. I think it's a very wearable version of like if you want color, even what I'm wearing today, it's it's like a way you can wear color, but it's it's not a potent fluorescent in your face kind of pop of color in my opinion. Another newer palette I think is perfect for Valentine's Day this year is the Glaminatrix Cosmetics Rich Romantic Palette. Uh, this one has some beautiful multi-chromes in it. You will feel rich when you're using this. It feels like leather on the outside. I love that the pans are not huge in their reasonable size, but again, we have lots of these romantic pinks, even a little peachy, the deeper red-ish burgundy, some purples, and these shimmers are everything. They're so good. Some of them are a little more green, so you might want to go more like the pinky ones or more like um, Rich has more of like a blue purple flip if you want to go that way, but it's a good one. Next palette is just a little quad. This is from ColourPop Cosmetics. This is their collab that they did with Animal Crossing. If you have it, the LaBelle of the Ball little quad here. And it's just a really cute little pinky purple quad here. It does have one pressed glitter in it, but this is just like a nice little compact swipe and go situation that I just, I know some people hate it, but I love their matte with glitter formula that they do. I think it's really, really pretty. And this one even has a duochrome in it, this custom design one. It is a kind of like taupey, purpley blue. It's hard to describe, but um, it's, it's just like a really cute little quad that I think would be fun to bring out if you have for this holiday. Another oldie from Kaleidos is the Lunar Lavender Palette. This is the Futurism 6. And I, many, much like many others, wish they would do more of these series. So good. But it is a neutral and purple one. I, tell me if you agree with me. Do you think that like purples are Valentine's too? Or do you stick more with like red, pink, and white. Because I, I definitely feel like purple has a place, and this one is great. Has a, as well a duochrome in here, and the Kaleidos formula is good. This is back when they used to do color, and in my opinion, exciting things. Now they do a lot more neutral things, and their past few releases have kind of looked identical. I know they're not, but this, uh, this palette reminds me of a time when I was much more excited about the brand than I am now, at least when it comes to their eyeshadow department. From Alomar Cosmetics, you may have the Spanglish palette. This is a pressed pigment palette that is also primarily pink and purple. It's got some neutrals in it. It's like a book. It opens up this way. I like that about this one. Um, and it, this looks like a little orangey maybe on camera, but it is more of just a warm brown. You've got a more neutral brown, and then the rest are all pinks and purples. Petal-like is a little peachy, but I think you could work it into a Valentine's look. This is a good formula. I feel like people sleep on Alomar. Um, no, it's not like dual chromes, multi chromes, whatever, like some of the indie brands, but it is a nice solid palette. And I just really like the presentation and just the whole theming of the Splanglish palette personally. So yeah, take it out if you have it. Another brand that I feel like doesn't exist. I don't think they ever technically announced they were closing, but, um, I think we can all agree that Dragon Beauty is done, right? <laughs> this one actually got TJ Maxx. Um, it's the Fantasy Palette Volume 1. But if you have this one, it also has a nice, like, purpley warm theme to it that you could do for Valentine's Day if you wanted something that was just not the normal red, pink, etc. But, I mean, 
We've mentioned those red pinky ones too. If you if you like those, I'm not saying there's anything wrong, but it's just my definition of Valentine's Day. ColourPop All Amethyst palette also gives me those vibes. I know last year when I did this palette, I said um, the It's My Pleasure palette, but this one also, ooh, I've got one shade here that's a little broken here, so I gotta be careful, but there's some pink, some mauve, some purple in this one that I think this one is lovely for Valentine's Day. Isn't this one? I think it's only maybe like $18, I want to say. I think they had this one at Ulta though, so you can always use your Ulta points. And we had to leave one of my favorites for last, the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Dollhouse Palette. I really think this is gorgeous for Valentine's Day. It does have a couple pops of color that are outside of maybe the Valentine's scheme like it's got like a pop of blue for example but a lot of it especially if we, especially if you look at the two matte rows here it is just that very like muted romantic tones um and any of these that are like purple to taupe this kind of like berry row it's not like hot pinks or anything but to me this is just a very soft romantic color story and there's definitely some shimmers corresponding that i think would also work really well for valentine's day at the top as well it's a neutral palette i understand that but to me the the fact that it does have these more dusty i say that in a good way muted tones makes it a great one for valentine's day so those are all 11 palettes I recommend for Valentine's Day 2024. Let me know what you think you're going to be using in the comments or just what are your plans? Do you celebrate Valentine's Day? Are you doing Galentine's Day? Are you anti-Valentine's Day and you're just like having another day? Let me know in the comments. As for Wesley and I, we decided we're going to go out and enjoy a meal out together because we don't really go out to eat that much. We pretty much just cook and eat at home. So we're going to like dress up a bit and go out for dinner. Um, probably not on the day of because it's so hectic, but at some point just to take a moment to appreciate each other and that'll be our Valentine's Day. We have been together um, almost seven years. It'll be seven years in April. So yeah, I don't know. You let me know too. Boo have been in relationships for a long time. It's, it's a little bit different after a while. Not in a bad way. I actually prefer it more <laughs> the longer we get into it, but I guess that's why we're getting married this summer. <laughs> So thanks guys if you made it all the way to the end. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye!